Okay, I went ahead and made a sheet because I think it makes it easier to understand. Uh, this is for the one string weaving. This is one arm's length. If you see where the boy, where he's pulled it out, and I want to show you. This is one arm's length. Okay, so the yarn is not as big. Okay, and this is a picture that I made for the two arm's length. See how this is twice as long because it's two of your wingspans here. And you don't cut it in the middle, you keep going. So I'm going to start off with showing you how to do the one string, okay? This is one that I've already started. This is example that I showed you before. So with this, you take your needle and you get it to the end of the yarn. If it's too hard to do it right here, okay, bend it. Bend it back just a little bit. And I'm sorry, I've got cuts on my finger, so I've got all kinds of band-aids on. And then you loop it through, pull it. Now, once it's out just a little bit, then you're going to actually tie it in one knot. See how I just looped it through? And if you don't know how to do this, this is something you need to practice, okay? This is a good skill. So it just goes over it and through it, okay? And then you pull it through. Now, I'm not going to double knot it because I'm going to have to take the yarn off. And I already showed you little videos that I found off the internet of how to get things started. Now, do you see how I've got the string on this side? So you're going to start on this side. Now, if you notice, it's under that blanket. If you think of that piece of string that is the uh, warp going up and down, this piece is under it. So I'm going to put my needle on top of it. And all you're doing is lightly going the opposite, over, under, over, under, or you can think of it as A, B, A, B. See how I'm pushing, pulling this up just a little bit? Now, if I was to take this through, and see how I have three here? That's not right, so I back it up just a little bit. Now, I'm just pulling it back and forth. Now, when you pull it through, be very careful. You don't want this to knot up here. This is why this is a good idea to have it knotted, or you could put your finger on it and hold it. And you're going all the way across until you get to a little tail. Now when you get to the little tail, you can push it. You can always do this later. Okay, there's the little tail. Now I've ended on top of the blanket. I want to go under. See how it's the opposite there? Let me look this up so you can see it. So it's the opposite. If it wasn't the opposite, when you pull it through, that whole thing will come out. Okay, so what am I doing? I'm lifting this, just tipping it up and down. Then when it gets to that little knotted part, I have to use my fingers to go through here. I'm trying to hold it up so you can see it, but it's harder to weave. Now I'm just pushing this, making sure it's opposite. All right, now I'm pulling it all the way through. You can hold on to that piece right there if you're worried about it. See how all the yarn is right there at the edge? Slowly pull it through. Make it sure it's nice, snug, and snug as a bug in a rug. If you pull this super tight, I'm going to do it just to show you. Look what happens. You don't want that. It makes these warp strings pulled in. So you don't want it snug, pulled really tight. Now, I'm going to mess up so you can see this because it's very important for you to see. See how that is under that string? Well, I'm going to go ahead and continue and do the same thing. I'm weaving the same thing. I have to make sure I mess up the right way. <laughs> so to show you what what will happen. But I'm still repeating the pattern. So maybe you say, well, Mrs. Milligan, I know I weaved it right because it was over under. It was opposite. But this is what's going to happen. Ready? This is to show you. You might have to keep these tails pulled down here. So they were both started out under the blanket. Now it's gonna, you're gonna go, oh, Mrs. Milligan, my whole string came out. Because you have to start, it's very important, where it's the opposite. I'm going to do it the right way. So that's on top of it. Now I want it under. Now I have to reweave the whole thing again. I know you're like going, oh my gosh. Okay. And then I will stop this video and the next one that I'm going to show you is how to do a two string. So this is one string. This will take longer. You get to choose. Okay, pull it all the way through. Not too tight. Push it down with my fingers. Pull it back again. 
that's how you do a one string. Now this example here is with two strings. See how it has two tails? Okay, so I'm going to show you that one next. 